Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to make our rocks shiny. If you've seen any of uh, my rocks lately online, you'll notice that there's a major glare, uh, and it's because I'm using resin to shine my rocks up. Um, so these are just a couple that I've previously done. Um, sometimes I use up my resin on pretty rocks that I'm going to paint later. Uh, or I fill in rocks that are bumpy with resin and paint over top like I've done with this hummingbird. Today we're going to coat that hummingbird in resin again. This one I painted for custom order. Uh, it's called Grandmother Rock. There's a personal message on the, on the bottom of the rock. So we're going to resin the whole rock and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I never waste any of my resin, so like I said, if I have leftover resin, I'm going to put it on all these beautiful rocks and just coat them, and then I have a nice, shiny, soft surface to paint on, um, or just to preserve the beauty of the rocks. They look gorgeous in this little basket. Now we're using art resin. Um, you'll get both resin and hardener in the package, both together if you're using this kind. Um, it's non-toxic, no, no BPAs, um, but make sure you use it in a well-ventilated area, open windows, wear a mask when you're stirring it up because bubbles come out of it. You don't want to breathe those bubbles in. I got mine from Amazon. Uh, you might have it at your local craft store. Buy latex gloves or whatever kind of gloves you, you're happy with. I didn't open it where I'm supposed to. I was daring and I opened it right from the top. So if you want to be like me, uh, always wear gloves when you're using resin. And ladies and gentlemen, tie your hair up. You do not want this stuff in your hair. Now I'm going to be using uh, just tablespoon measuring cups. Um, and I think it's a quarter cup measuring cup to mix it all in. You're going to want craft sticks. Uh, I reuse these measuring cups over and over. I just wash them out with hand sanitizer and it actually takes it right off. Um, I do buy cheap paint brushes um, to do my resin. If you can find a way to get the resin out of the brush when you're done so that you can reuse it, please tell me because I haven't figured out a decent way to do that yet. So I just keep re-buying cheap paint brushes. Make sure the bristles don't come out on your rocks. Uh, you'll need a straw. I picked purple, that's my favorite color. And you will need a plastic cutting board or a plastic lid from a Rubbermaid container. Something plastic to put your rocks on so that they can dry. Remember, whatever surface you're putting your rock on, that's what your surface of the bottom of your rock is going to look like. So if you put it on a hard, shiny plastic, your rock's going to be hard and shiny plastic on the bottom. Um, now, I'm starting with the resin. It comes with a little red plug lid in there to keep it from getting built up at the spout of your bottle. I'm just using a tablespoon, and I'm covering quite a few rocks with this. A little goes a long way, and like I said, if you have any leftover, find some beautiful rocks to put it on. Uh, have them handy while you're, you're starting this resin project. Make sure you use your stick to get it all out of the tablespoon. Um, get every little last bit out that you possibly can. You don't want to leave any behind because we have to use equal parts of resin and hardener. So you want to make sure it's nice and clean. Wipe it out with a paper towel once you got it all out of there. And then get the hardener. Same thing, there's a little red plug in there to protect the spout. Uh, one tablespoon again. It's really thick. It's like syrup. Um, scrape it out with your wooden stick again. Make sure it's all out. There's not going to be any fancy sounds or changing of colors or anything like that. It literally just looks like clear syrup, corn syrup. Now once we've wiped that all out with the paper towel, I'm going to use some hand sanitizer uh, while it's still not dry and use a paper towel and hand sanitizer to clean that tablespoon and it, it stays clean and I can use it again next time. All clean. Now we mix. We have to stir this uh, carefully and slowly at first. You'll start seeing it get a bit foggy and there will be lots of bubbles. We want to make sure that we stir it up equally, scrape the sides, make sure you got the resin and the hardener all mixed together properly. You will, you will see, it almost goes like a pearlescent 
um, you'll start seeing like a bit of streaks of pearl. That means you're stirring it up good. Stir it for about two minutes. And there will be lots of bubbles, but don't worry about those bubbles. I'll help you with that. Leave it, uh, let it sit once you've stirred it up. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. And just walk away, find some pretty rocks for leftover resin. Um, get your rocks ready, make sure they're on that plastic surface and you have your hair tied up. Now I'm gonna start with this one. What I do with the bottom of the rock, I start with the bottom first. I throw away my wooden stick, I don't need that one anymore. I get out my brush. Now I just paint a thin layer of the resin on the bottom of the rock and then I, I use my gloves to work it all the way around the rock. So I just make sure that the entire surface of the rock is covered. I do this with painted rocks as well as non-painted rocks. Just cover the whole surface. We want a really thin layer on the bottom. So once you have the bottom done, flip it over and put a thicker layer on the top just to give it a bit of a, a glass look put a thicker layer on the top. Once you've done that, grab your straw. Make sure you use like a bendy straw so you know which end you're putting in your mouth. You do not want this stuff on your mouth. It's disgusting. Gently blow through the straw on the surface of your rock and you'll see all the little bubbles popping on the surface. Just make sure you have good lighting so that you can see them. Simply just blow with your breath gently through the straw and it pops all the bubbles. Now next I'm doing this painted rock the same way because there's a, a personal message on the back. I don't really want to show it to you completely, but same thing, thin layer on the bottom and then do a thicker layer on the top, but make sure that you catch any runs that are going down the sides or else you're going to end up with these little resin nipples on the back of your rock. And yes, I just like saying the word resin nipples, the words resin nipples. So now that that's done, I'm wiping around the edges to make sure that there's nothing running down the sides. I get my straw out again, make sure I just blow through the correct end, and I'm going to pop all those little surface bubbles out again. And then it's like glass. Make sure that you don't have dust and stuff flying around in the area that you're going to leave these sitting because the dust will settle onto the resin and it will be noticeable. Same with like, don't let your cats lay down next to you while you're resining or, or uh, maybe don't do your dusting that day, just so you don't get any little bumps in your, in your surface. Now this rock I resined, then I painted on top of it because it made the surface smoother. And now I'm just recoating it. Once you've coated your rocks, leave them for at least 10 hours, don't touch them. You will leave fingerprints all over them if you do. Uh, after 10 hours, they should pop off your plastic lid or surface easily as long as you didn't use too much and it ran down to the bottom. It'll still pop off, but you might have to use a nail file to shave off the bumps. Um, everything's done. Everything looks beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, contact me on Facebook or here, and I'll try and answer them as soon as I possibly can. Thank you all for the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, and uh, you're all part of my rock family.